Well, divorce costs the Australian economy over $14 billion a year, but it's the emotional expense that really takes a toll. Yeah, when it comes to living happily ever after, we all want the fairy tale ending, of course, but putting theory into practice can be tricky. So when it comes to lasting love, what's the best way to safeguard against splitting up? Dr Nikki Goldstein joins us live in the studio now with more. Hi, Good Nikki. morning to you, Nikki. Lovely Good to morning. see you. Uh, what, what's the biggest mistake? married people make do you think that's a big question i know well i think the biggest thing is trying to fit into a mold that wasn't meant for you this should do curse of marriage people get married and say well this is what a wife should do and this is what a husband should do but they don't stop and work what actually is it that they want to see as a husband and wife and their roles i think we also need to look at this fact that we're very outwardly focused instead of internally focused and we can take fomo for something for example let's focus on what's actually that's working fear of missing, fear of missing out, out for those who don't know yeah. instead of looking at what you're missing out in a relationship and what other people are doing. Why don't you take the time to celebrate what does work in your relationship, the positives instead of the negatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your tips to divorce proof your relationship or at least take a step towards making sure you're on the way? Well I think the biggest thing is you need to make your own rules. How's the relationship going to work for you and your partner? I also think it's really important to have your own lives. Yes you're now a couple but I think it's really important to be independent people as well so you've got something to discuss with your partner at the end of the day and I really think a massive thing is having those awkward conversations. Often you don't know that you're in a danger zone or often you don't know if things are wrong because it can be quite confronting to say to someone I'm not happy or I want more so we need to be okay with being awkward sometimes in relationships and communicate around whatever it is that's not working at that time. And you just mentioned the danger zone how do you know when you're entering the danger zone? Well I think the biggest thing is sometimes you don't because we can often be in denial when things aren't working because if the relationship is in a danger zone maybe you might have to admit that you're failing at the relationship and it's important that we don't see this as failure necessarily relationships can end but I think some of the biggest warning signs are when both or one person withdraws from the relationship but I also think gut instinct has a lot to answer for you know when things are not going well but then we have to separate what is gut instinct and what might be a little bit of insecurity that's going on in the relationship. Okay, divorce rates are high. Yeah. Are people too quick to give up? I think they are these days. We're seeing this generation of very short first-term marriages, but I think it goes on both sides here. So divorce is very easy these days, so it can be very easy to go, okay, it's not working, we're out. At the same time, if you haven't had the experiences of working out what works in a relationship and what type of partner, then if you've entered a relationship that's not working, you should also have the right to exit it, especially if there's children, in order to be better parents separately than be in a relationship that's dysfunctional and carrying on those behaviours for a younger generation. Yeah. Tell you what the biggest problem in relationship today is when one of the partners know what FOMO means is the, and the other yeah. doesn't. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. Uh, good to see you, Nikki, as always. Thank you. Thanks for Thank having you, me. Nikki. And Nikki's book, she's written a book, it is out now. Single but dating. Hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag single but dating, it's out now. <laughs>